My FPS in Fortnite is so bad, and I don't know what to do. Please help me. <laughs> I am super heavy. I am here to help. Uh, okay, guys. Hey, um, so today we are, we're going to look at the best settings for the NVIDIA control panel in 2020. It'll increase FPS in multiple games. Today we're doing Fortnite. It'll inc it can increase quality, but today I'll have you uh, lowering your quality settings to help. Thank you to PC Aviso for sending this F or sending this thumbnail to me. All right, let's get on with it. Here's a uh, it's an NVIDIA control panel. This is the low latency response time testing in multiple games. Obviously, up up here it says lower is better, so you're gonna want to look at that. Here are the different numbers for different games. I'll give you a second to look that up. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the actual good part of the video, the part where I actually show you what to do. All right, so obviously I have an NVIDIA GTX 1060, so I have the NVIDIA graphics card drivers and all that. You're, so when you're at your desktop, right, you can see cursor, yeah. You're going to want to right click on your desktop, and you want, I, AMD can do this too, because they have the, about the same settings. Some are different, some have different wording, and some they don't have. So here you would click on this NVIDIA control panel, and it should take you right to the main screen. And when it loads. All right. I'm going to full screen this. So here we have the in uh, it would take you here. Usually your guys you guys would be on the uh use the advanced 3D image settings, but here if you want to get the best performance out of your game, you would want to click use my preference emphasizing and it'll be I think it'll be here. You're going to want to take it all the way to the left on performance and then down here you can click apply. Let that load through. And then over here, oh, you can just do this. You can click Take Me There. Here you're going to want to go to Program Settings. If you're doing this for Fortnite, you will click here, click Add. It'll let you, okay, whenever it loads. Okay, well, it'll let you scroll, okay, here. It'll let you th scroll through different things you have on your PC that use these settings so you can change them. Like, I have CSGO. I have War Thunder. Fortnite, we're uh, somewhere. Fortnite's there. There we go. So we're gonna be using Fortnite today, and right here you'd select which one you want. If if this doesn't pop up, that's where the add button comes in. Today we're using Fortnite. All right. So here we'll start off at the top. So image sharpening, you should turn that off. So you click that and you click off. For anisotropic filtering, you turn that off. Anti-aliasing off. Anti-aliasing gamma correction off. Anti okay, well this I just realized this anti-aliasing mode does not change in your actual games. This just changes it on your monitor. So your games you can still have, but this just changed it for your graphics drivers. Like spe specifically Fortnite, if you have anti-aliasing on, it won't really change that that much. It'll change it for more games better than Fortnite does. So anti-aliasing mode, I have it on off. These will all be changed whenever you change that. CUDA GPUs. You're going to want to click this. Use these GPUs. Click this one. And click OK. Well, it, you'd click your GPU. Load latency mode. You're going to want to click here and turn that all the way to ultra to get the best, not best FPS, best response time out of your game. Your max frame rate. Turn that off. Multi, or multi frame sampled AA. You're going to keep that off. OpenGL rendering. You're gonna want to click your C or your GPU. Power management mode. You're gonna want to click prefer maximum performance. Shader cache off. Texture filtering, endostrophic sample options off. Texture filtering. Okay, not. Yeah, allow. Texture filtering quality high performance. This can go off. Threaded optimization off. Wait, no, that's on, sorry. The triple buffering, off, always, it's the stupidest thing. Vertical sync, definitely off. And virtual reality pre-rendered frames, just keep it at one. There's no point in really changing this that much. So global settings, you'll see here, everything has changed. Okay, well, this is apparently different. Oh, I gotta click apply, that's why, okay. So yeah, after you click apply, which you, I advise you to do. Let that load for a second. And see, it'll flash and it'll change all your settings. So here, now this is where you'd get the better FPS. This is the good part. 
you would go here to global settings. You, I mean, yeah, you can change it. So you keep that off, all of these off. Gamma correction, you keep that off. DSR factors off, DSR smoothness, I can't change that. Low latency mode off, maximum frame rate off. Multi-frame sampled off. OpenGL, power management mode. Prefer maximum performance. Shader cache. Off. Holy. It's like lagging. Off. Yes, off. Texture filtering. You want to turn that off. You're going to leave that on. Texture filtering quality. You're going to want to change this to high performance. Texture filtering, Charlie Linear optimization. You can change that to off. Better optimization, keep that on auto, triple buffering off, vertical sync off, and virtual, re virtual reality pre rendered frames, keep that at whatever it's already set at. So, down here yet again, you're gonna hit apply. It is going to load. And now you're, all of your settings are gonna be saved for both program and global. You don't have to change global, because that'll change every single game, so here you can go to whatever, like you can click individual ones. Global does everything at once. Uh oh, game ready driver, yikes. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.